Hello everybody and welcome to Living Uniquely You with myself, Sharon Brown. I'm popping in today, I literally got this guidance earlier on, um, on four ways to clear karmic patterns in um, your life. Um, so I'm going to literally talk about them and um, this is just guidance I received anyway. Thank you for watching the live and thank you for watching the replay. One is being aware that the, that these patterns are coming over and over again. So literally, when the patterns are coming up and it's being aware is the main thing because what it is, is you're realising that you're making, chinking, doing the same things over and over again. And as we do these over and over again, sometimes it, be, it becomes our, our normality. And it could be something to do with a certain way you speak to somebody. It could be do with fear. It could to do with overwhelm. It could be do with conditioning. So what it is, is it's being aware that you're actually, that this is a karmic pattern that is coming up for you constantly. So that's number one. Number two is accepting that it is a pattern. This is huge. This is giving your yourself the self-acceptance of allowing you to see the karmic pattern and accepting it that it is a pattern that needs to be changed. It's like if you're every day you get up and you'll say, I'm going to meditate today and you don't get it done. So that's a pattern that you're, you're not actually following through your intentions and we can call that procrastination and all. But that is stuff that we do unknowns to ourselves um, and that is a karmic pattern so that's the patterns I'm talking about or if things aren't going well in your business and you go into fear and then you let the fear take over so that's a pattern you can go into overwhelm you can start then the the little thoughts come into your head hi Irene come into your head and you hear I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. And then you start off with all that. So that's a pattern. So it's one, it's being aware that you have a pattern. Two is accepting that you have a passion. That is huge. Self-acceptance to what we are doing wrong in our lives. Well, there is real no right way or wrong way. It's just patterns that we have through conditioning and through society. But it's allowing ourselves to accept that that we have that pattern and we need the help. Three is really sitting down and feeling, feeling into it. So if you say if it's fear and um, it's overwhelm and you're, you're getting the fear. So what I would suggest is you get a diary or a journal, a piece of paper or whatever it may be. And you sit and you put that pattern whether it be fear or whatever it is, at the top of the page. And feel into that word and see what emotions it gives up and write everything down. Just write it down. Everything down. So what you do is you write it down and as you're writing it down, feel into the words or notice the words that are coming into your head when you're writing it all down. It could be a guided message for you. So just go with the information you receive. The emotions around it, why you are feeling this way. Allow yourself to feel it, so accept it. Accept the feelings that are coming up for you. And journal, literally write everything down. So have you? So give yourself at least 10, 15 minutes. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the afternoon. Or you can do it literally the minute you feel yourself in that passion is literally sit, stop. Take a breath in and just allow and accept the feelings to come forward. Because what you're doing is you're allowing yourself feel into that. You're allowing yourself for those emotions, for the words, for those thoughts to come up. And they are coming up to release. And then what I would do with that piece of paper is either burn it um, and give it up to source for them to transmute these into beautiful love and light or you can hold on to them till the full moon and you can have yourself a little bonfire party um so literally because you're releasing anyway on the full moon so if you want to hold on to them until the full moon but make sure you do burn them 
And then the fourth other thing then to do is to meditate. So what you're after doing is you're after bringing all this energetic stuff up in your body. So in order for you, although you've released a lot of it, the top patterns onto the paper, you need to release the energetic end of it. So what I would do is I would do a meditation. Um, you'll get one on YouTube. Um, I probably myself will go and do a meditation sometime and um, talk you through one myself probably in the near future. I'm getting, I need to do one. So it'll probably be Friday or Monday of next week because um, I don't have time today to do it. So what I would say is meditate. Get a karma clearing one on YouTube. A lot of people have them. Or just take a deep breath in and just release. And you can actually feel the stuff coming out of your body. So, and just release and let it go. And be grateful for whatever you have released. So um, that's actually, I'm just after getting hit. So that's number five. So it's be grateful. Be grateful for the release and being able to release them. Some people can't do this work. But that's okay. That's why we have mentors and that's why we have people that have come in to help us um, do the work. It's okay to ask for help. This karmic pattern energy is huge at the moment. And a lot of people, I had it myself yesterday. I literally went into fear uh, self-doubt unworthy and it was absolutely huge until I actually sat down with the feelings with the words and literally released it and cleared it myself so that's what I'm saying to you is I got the hit to come on today to talk to you about this because there is a lot of people that are that are stuck and they don't know how to clear karmic patterns in their lives it's okay not to know how to do it it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to be vulnerable at times. We are all vulnerable at times. And this is what the this is what the energy is around at the moment. It's showing us how vulnerable we can be. That it's okay to ask for help. It's okay not to be perfect. There's nobody in this world that can seriously tell me that they're perfect. We all have flaws. We all make mistakes. But it is unique to you. And it's allowing your uniqueness shine out to the world. So that's what I've come on today is to show to, is to talk to you about the four ways to clear karmic patterns. So this can help you um, go through the energies at the moment. Um, also, if you would like to work with me on a one to one basis and you need help to clear the patterns and the energetic residue that we all hold, nobody can say that they are clear because we are never clear there's always some layer somewhere no matter how far you are are on your path something always comes up that needs to be cleared so it isn't easy doing this work so it allow yourself allow yourself be kind to yourself accept yourself self-love self-care is so important so if you would like to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis in one of my programs, which is my self empowerment, my self embodiment, which I've become the soul and self accelerator, and my huge big program, which is the daring to be you, which is working with the lion. On in an eleven month program that has huge success, the girl that I worked with last year, and um, that came through that one of the girls I worked with last year that came through this program, Helen. She gave me a testimonial, which I will, I, I will post tomorrow, um, that how I, it has changed her life so much. It's like she said, she hadn't been living before we started on this program and now she's actually living. She's herself. So um, book a self-empowerment call with me today and we'll explore what your next option or what your next step is with your guides and my guides. Have a magical day and I'll talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.